of Korean nuclear energy development. And recently he joined the cocktail and uh, helping them to go peaceful nuclear program. And the second is Dr. Francesca and Giovanni from Tufts University. Uh, and then we move to Mr. Anton Krolov, who is a uh, from Russia, and uh, he will talk about uh, serious intention of Russian Federation in uh, curtailing nuclear risk in emerging economies. And finally, we have uh, Adam Stolberg from Georgia Tech. Uh, he may be able to uh, sum up what the uh, previous three speakers uh, have presented. So, uh, again, um, I'd like to uh, thank all of the speakers for uh, making time and preparing for this uh, very, very important, uh, actually defining session for the future nuclear non-proliferation. And we have uh, uh, a lot of concern uh, since the publish, publication of uh, nuclear uh, posture early this year, and there is an uh, unbelievable dreadful weapons coming up, including nuclear powered missiles and nuclear powered torpedoes. And um, uh, we now worry about uh, serious uh, undermining of uh, world non proliferation regime. Um, both by uh, rogue states like North Korea and by legitimate states as well. So uh, now in between, we have emerging economies, uh, including Middle East, and uh, they are uh, working hard to get uh, energy stability. Now we know uh, renewable energy has uh, a lot of restrictions, and we see the Angela Merkel confessed end of May, that their energy transition is not going very well in curtailing carbon sequestration, carbon dioxide emissions. So the whole world, including UK and United States, is uh, poised to come back to nuclear power options more ambiguously. So at this stage, we have to think more fundamentally. We shouldn't haste and should nail down a long-term framework for peaceful nuclear energy utilization. So I'd like to invite Dr. Byung-woo Kim uh, from Kakir to start this session.